Today's video is all luxury lipstick, starting with the Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet Nuit Blanche, the Tom Ford Slim Lip Color, and the Westman Atelier. Here we go. Hello, princesses, and welcome back to Not Fit for Print Beauty with me, Rebecca. Get ready to have all your luxury lipstick fantasies met. As you know from the preview, we got three brand new lipsticks to look at, and they are all luxury. They are all, or I should say none of them are cheap, not cheaply made, not cheaply packaged, not cheap in color, not cheap in application. So we're going to talk about all of them from Chanel and Tom Ford and Westman Atelier. I am so glad to have you here. Don't forget that you can also see my content and follow me over on Instagram, TikTok, and on threads. A little bit of a programming note, I have, with your help, reached 20,000 subscribers. Thank you so much, so don't forget to subscribe. But to celebrate my 20,000 milestone, which I am extraordinarily proud of with your help, I am going to do a huge giveaway. I have so many good things to give away. Uh, full, unused, of course, untouched uh, products from Merit, from Danessa Myricks, uh, from Anastasia Beverly Hills, I think I have, uh, from Viseart. I have all sorts of good stuff to give away, but in addition to that, we're going to be doing, I'm planning it already, a little video, kind of a Q&A, get to know me video. I've never done one of those before and everyone says I should. I'm like, why would anybody want to know? But you know, you do spend a lot of time with me, so you might as well know who I am. So you can leave uh, questions for me here on Instagram, on TikTok, wherever you want, and I'll collect all those and compile some answers and hope not, try not to be too boring, you know? But you can leave those, any question, anything you want to know from makeup to personal Nothing is off limits because I'm, I'm pretty normal. So I'm, I'm not real worried, honestly. Okay, now in terms of lipsticks, um, like I said, we're looking at Chanel, Tom Ford, and Westman Atelier. I would love for you to sit through all of it, but if you're busy and you're only interested in one or two, please make use of the timestamps down below. Um, I'll try to be very, very definitive in those timestamps so that you can find what you need. You can scroll through them or see them down below along with information on where to purchase all of these and super thanks and we have a membership on this channel. We got all sorts of good stuff going on. So check all of that out. All right, well, let's get started. Um, this is gonna be a little bit of packaging too. And then I'm gonna try on all of these shades for you. I usually do like a little musical montage, but I'm gonna actually uh, try a little something different and walk you through the try-ons this time so we can talk about the feel and everything. We're going to start with this brand new. The casing makes me crazy. I love it so much. With the Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet Nuit Blanche Luminous Matte. Okay, so this is uh, a luminous matte cracks me up. Luminous matte is like kosher pork or jumbo shrimp. You know, uh, how can it be luminous and matte at the same time? These feel, and you'll see in the demo, a little bit like a lip oil but they're they're nice and pigmented they are fifty dollars each i know but they come in eight shades and i picked up shades seven and four we will swatch them in two different lights and then i will swatch them and do lip swatches as well so don't worry they are limited edition let's take a moment to look at the packaging it is the typical chanel packaging in the fact that you push it in and then it comes out so you push down here it comes and then when you put it back in you push it in and then in again but we have this glorious black and white packaging that almost looks um, like a cartoon, you know? You know what I mean by a cartoon? And the double CCs are in white. Um, these are just, the casing is absolutely exquisite. Now, I know, I know some of you are going to say, Rebecca, I don't care what the case looks like. Uh, but, you know, you're paying for it. These are $50 each, so it has to look pretty coming out of your bag. I mean... You're paying for it, you might as well like it. So of those eight shades made in France, I picked up two. It's a hundred dollars. Don't I'm, I'm you know what I'm not gonna start doing the math here. It will be slightly depressing. Okay, we also have the brand new Tom Ford Slim Lip Color, also limited edition. These are courtesy of a tip-off and a purchase from Andrew. I love Andrew. His information is down below. Andrew is the, he specializes in Tom Ford, but also all things luxury over at Neiman Marcus in Chicago. Amazing city, Chicago. Uh, so thank you so much, Andrew, for securing these for me. I also picked up two of these, but this has 10 shades, okay? Um, and I picked up two. I picked up um, 152 Rose Corset and 100. You'll see them swatched. By the way, in the Chanel, I picked up shades seven and four. 
but you'll see that in a moment. Okay, these are also $50, and they have this kind of, they, they call it a patent polished glamour. I like that. Um, they are an exceptionally thin. I've seen some thin lipstick cases before, but these are very thin if you look at the bullet, especially if you compare the bullet to something like the Chanel. Let me show you. Uh, if I take out the Chanel bullet and compare this bullet right here, um, it is, would you say one quarter of the size? And it's interesting, I'll show you when we do the application with the Tom Ford. It's almost like um, it takes a moment to get used to it, but then it's actually quite nice. These also have a little bit of, well, these have a little bit of a creamier feel than the Chanel, a little bit thicker, but they still have that slip, that kind of combination of lip oil and pigment to them, and they are lovely. Um, in terms of scent, by the way, the Chanel has none, and the Tom Ford has a very faint, very faint vanilla, but sometimes I think that might be in my head. So that's kind of nice. Okay, and last but not least today, when we go to the demo, we're gonna be looking at one that I was, before I did the demo, very nervous about. That is the Westman Atelier Lipstick with 10 shades, and I bought three, which made me nervous because they're $50 each. She breaks hers into pinks and berries, nudes and reds, so I tried to kind of get a little bit one of each thing, um, but they're 10 shades. I bought three, also $50 each. So I have $150 of Westman Atelier. I said I wasn't gonna do the math. Okay, so these are interesting. Number one, these are a little bit repellent. Rebecca, that's rude. No, no, they're repellent. They're magnetized. When I, I can't get them closer than this. Okay, I click, I, no, I literally can't. And right now on my little table, when I push one to the other, it repels the other one. So they are actually repellent, literal. Okay, but anyway, um, I, was nervous, I was nervous about reviewing these. I don't always love Westman Atelier. It's not a secret. Sometimes I feel like the emperor has no clothes. And sometimes I feel like, though these are all $50 lipsticks, I feel like it's not Chanel or Tom Ford, so how can you do that, you know? Um, and I didn't think I'd like them. I'm wearing one right now, actually. I'm wearing LFG shade. Um, so when I got these, and I got three, um, I made sure to get kind of the lighter pink, but I got a dark pink and a dark red, because I'm like, I'm putting you to the test, because I didn't think I'd like them. And I stay away from reviews, um, but I started getting all sorts of DMs from you lovely people. I suffer from very slow delivery lately on some of these. So usually I'm a little bit quicker on the draw. And a lot of people were getting theirs, including my viewers. And I was getting a lot of uh, DMs. These are dry. And other people telling me, so-and-so reviewed them and didn't like them and stuff. So I was like, oh no, it'll be another Westman Atelier product I don't like. So I'm going to leave you hanging to see whether or not I like these. You can use the timestamps if you want to cheat. These are an interesting um, case. They're very magnetic. I mean, look at this. Woo! Like, don't get your finger by it. Woo! <laughs> they are a chubby little case. Um, and they go like, jeez, oh, they just that, that magnet's strong. Their magnet game is strong. <laughs> uh, you roll it up from the top. It's really pretty. You know, you've got the, the hearts. You've got the hearts on the bullet, you know. They're very pretty, very interesting, like the exact opposite of holding uh, the Tom Ford slim case, you know, fat, skinny. And Chanel is like, don't mind us over here being regular and in between. Uh, each one of these lipsticks has uh, about the same amount. Um, I'm looking at the ounces. The, uh, the Westman Atelier and the Chanel are mm, 0.1 ounces apart, 0 0.01 ounces apart, actually. Um, and the Tom Ford, maybe a little bit less, uh, but they're really right around the same and they're all the same price. So you might be comparing all three to one another. Um, so let's just do it right here. We're gonna talk about them. We're gonna try them all on. I'm gonna report back on comfort. I'm kind of excited about it. Let's look at some swatches first in two different lights, shall we? First of all, in studio lighting, take a look at what I got here on my arm. This is the Chanel Rouge Allure Velvet Nuit Blanche, luminous matte, <laughs> in shade seven, followed by shade four. Then in the middle, we have our Tom Ford Slim Lip, lip Color in shade 100 and in shade 152 Rose Corset. And then the Westman Atelier in Je Rêve, Ma Biche and LFG, LFG being the one that I have on right now sitting here in front of you. But we're going to see them best if we take it out into the warm California sunshine. Once again, we've got the Chanel in 7 and 4, Tom Ford in 100 and 152 Rose Corset, and Westman Atelier in J. Rive, Ma Biche and LFG. 
Pardon me if I said any of those wrong. Usually I try to do very accurate research on pronunciation first and still screw it up. <laughs> but uh, this time I was kind of excited to get into these and um, I didn't have too long to film today. So I made sure to get in here. All right, what I want to do now is do a little bit of a different sort of try on, no tacky music and silly poses. Um, I'm not taking that away. But this time I really wanted to try these on and look at this. These are, you know, this is an investment, let me say. It's an investment. So let's go slowly and try these all on. Use the timestamps if you need to. Um, and make sure you're subscribed and get those um, anything Q&As into me. I've already been asked if I have a pet. And I've been asked if I, um, how I got into the magazine business. So that's already going to be answered. Stay right there. Okay, this is a very light layer of the Chanel in shade 7 right here. Do a little swatch on the hand for you. There it is on the hand. And on the lip, let's put a little bit more on. Okay. It is light, creamy, feels a little bit like a lip oil, has a nice slip, would work with a nice waxy lip liner, maybe, so that it wouldn't bleed. But I will wear them all day today and put on the screen right here if they do bleed, because they have a lot of... A, Lump slip to them. So I'll let you know. Let's do the second shade in four. This right is now. shade four. I'm already in love with it. Here it is swatched. Here it is in a light layer on my lips. Just as much kind of um, slip to it in a good way when you apply it. Doesn't get stuck in lip lines. That's why I got a darker shade. That first shade never would anyway because it was so light. But this kind of dark wine shade could have and didn't at all Watch me put it on in real time. Quick, completely comfortable. Feels like I have a lip balm on mixed with a lip oil. The lipstick formulas are getting so good. I don't even know what to say. This is going to be a favorite shade because it's nice and dark, but doesn't have any sort of fussiness in terms of applying it. So. These are beautiful. I wish I could buy all eight, but you know, I need some sort of a benefactor in order to do that. Let's move on to the little slim lip color cases from Tom Ford. Okay, this is our first Tom Ford in this limited edition slim packaging. This is the shade 100, just 100, no actual shade name other than the number. And here it is in a light application and a swatch right next to it. So that you can see the difference between the swatch and the application. This is a very interesting feel when you apply it because it is so slim you can be very precise you know i'm used to something this size which is really kind of not just double the size but really kind of triple so it's a really slower application but it's not messy or fussy watch what i mean you know you do a full swipe and i have thin lips i would love to get a filler but i'm a chicken Medical procedures and chickenness don't go together. Okay, once it's on, first of all, I mean, what an experience. This packaging really is divine. Um, once it's on, it's extraordinarily comfortable. Feels a lot like the Chanel. A little bit more, a little bit less slip. Feels a little bit creamier. Um, that makes it sound like the Chanel are not creamy. Not at all. This is just elegantly, elegant's a good word for it, comfortable and pretty and we have one more shade in it 152 rose corset let's try that one next so here is 152 rose corset applied very quickly and sloppily and here it is we're going to put on a little more here it is in swatch you know the interesting thing they're onto something this isn't just kind of a gimmicky limited edition slim case you really kind of feel like you're lining with it let me show you and then filling in and again, I don't have a lot of room on my lips. They are thin. But as you see, look, I didn't have to use any special brushes, which I appreciate. I don't like fussy lipstick. I like red lipsticks. I know this isn't red, but I'm just in general. I like red lipsticks, but I don't wear a lot because I don't like smiling and it's on my teeth. I don't like smiling and you see lip lines. I don't like fussiness. I want to just you know, I tend to wear lip oils and balms and things like that for that reason. Um, so these darker shades that apply like that in the Chanel and the Tom Ford 
really float my boat and would I bet float yours too if you feel the same way about your lip products as I do. Um, so I want to say now, this is the rose corset, isn't that pretty? And I want to say now that I've saved the best for last, but I'm going to change the expression and say that I've saved the guess for last. I got three shades of the Westman Atelier. I don't know why I didn't just get two. Like why did it? But I need to like calm myself down and really give these guys a chance. What I'm going to do is I'm going to exfoliate. I've got some lip scrub. I'll show you the lip scrub I use. And um, let's just start applying these three. I mean, I guess it's good I got three. We're really going to get a good idea. I'm nervous, though. I'm nervous. I, I literally am nervous. Okay, um, so let's dive in. Okay, here's the first shade, kind of the lightest one. This is the Jay Rivet. And I put uh, a little swatch of it on. Now, I followed the rules, so so far so good. I started with a lip scrub. I like the Frank Body. Have, I'll, I'll link this below. Have you guys heard of this lip scrub? It smells like coffee. It's always a good thing. And it's just, it's really nice. Um, oh, here it is. It's just, you know, if it's kind of like sugary crystals and you, know, you can make your own lip scrub at home, really. But I really like this Frank Body. I'll link it below along with all of these products if you're interested. Uh, okay, so far I enjoy the way it applied, but I did everything I was supposed to do first. Took off all the other shades, scrubbed my lips, prepped my lips. You know, I did, I wanted to give it a real chance. And this shade is very pretty, very comfy. Right now it feels to be the thinnest formula. So even a little bit thinner than the Chanel. So I, I'm pleasantly surprised. I mean, I don't know. I, I don't know what I was thinking I was going to encounter here. But yeah, I mean, I'm, okay, we're going to get a little darker and then we'll see if there's any issues. But with this light shade, if you ordered this, I am very pleasantly surprised and enjoying it. I hear they dry out lips. I, I, I don't see how that's possible. But I'll, I'll wear them all day before I edit this. I'll I'll be able to put it down here on the screen if they dry out my lips. Okay, um, do I have to prep my lip for the next two shades? I don't think so, but I think I'll make sure I take it off and make sure they're moisturized. I'm not going to keep scrubbing them. All right, let's do two more shades. Okay, this is the hardest one to do. It's a red. It's a bright red. This is the Mabiche. Mabiche. Am I saying that right? Here is the swatched and here it is on my lips done very messily um we'll do a little bit more we didn't do i forgot to do a little more of the jay Rivet, but you got the idea um with a red reds are always going to be slightly fussy so did this get on my teeth just a tad did it show a little bit of lip lines just a tad but i didn't need a lip brush i don't feel it on at all literally it's the lightest weight of the three so i'm kind of glad i compared now it doesn't feel like a matte Let's, let me show you, let me put on a little bit more. And this is a real test, you know, a lot of people say like if they go to a certain kind of restaurant, they have the one thing they'll order in an Italian or Mexican restaurant to know if they do it well. And I think you could say the same about lipsticks. It's kind of easy to do like a lighter pink well because, you know, but can you do a red well? It's really the ultimate test. So let me show you, this is, that's a really sloppy application and it's not very sloppy. Let's see, okay. smile. You see any lip lines? No, I don't either. That was a very unfussy red lipstick application. I do find holding this a little bit awkward. It's a little too fat. You know that where the Tom Ford is almost a little too thin but you get used to it right away. These are a little too fat. But I mean for a red this is impressive. Again I gotta play with these and see if they're drying. I'm not feeling it down, but remember, I followed the steps. You know, you might not want to. Yeah, I was like, I'm gonna give these a fighting chance. Okay, my last one is LFG, which is this bright pink color, which is another kind of, you know, that hot pink, another kind of test. I mean, I, I was putting these to the test. Chanel and Tom Ford, it's not, it's not hard to impress me, but uh, you know, Westman Atelier, she's let me down a few times. So let's try this hot pink and then we'll see, because right now I'm kind of going with thumbs up. Am I the only one out there that's liked it so far? I mean, we gotta see if it's drying, you know, when I wear it more, but stay with her. Okay, here's our last shade of the Westman Atelier. This is the LFG Hot Pink shade. I did not, to use an American expression, throw or pitch softballs to this lipstick brand. I was like, you're charging me $50, you're gonna earn it for three. 
So I ordered a dark red and a dark pink. I, you know, I tried to give them a chance with that lighter pink, but it's, it's not hard to screw that up. A dark pink and a dark red. So here is one very sloppy layer. I didn't even fix it up. Let's see if there's lip lines. <laughs> Please don't freeze frame it on that. It's going to be like all over Reddit with me going, <laughs> yeah, no lip lines. Okay, let's put on a little more. Glides really nicely. Again, I followed the rules. I followed the rules. I, you know, scrubbed off my lips first and all that. I mean, you know, uh, how long will that lip scrubbing off hold for? It held for all three of these. I only did it once. And I, I any chance to use my little Frank Body Coffee Scrub, I'm always happy to do it. Um, gosh, I mean, again, I'm going to put below here whether these dried. Am I in the minority here? Why? I'm, I'm just getting note after note from people how much they hate them. And I'm, I'm liking them. I think Gucci Westman did good here. And I was prepared to like, hate them, hate them, took my money. I was prepared, you guys. So, you know, I wanted to give an honest review. I can't feel it on my lips. It is matte, but it applies um, in such a thin layer that it, I would feel like I needed to go back and put lipstick on. You know that feeling like, oh shoot, I forgot my lipstick. Like I feel like if I were out at lunch right now with you, what would we be eating? I'm so hungry right now. Just tell me what we would be eating for lunch, please, or where we can go in your city, because I want to go to lunch right now. Okay, but if we were sitting at lunch right now, I would be like, oh, I better reapply my lipstick before we go, because it feels like I've got nothing on. You know that feeling? And I mean, obviously, I'm looking in the viewfinder. I know I do. Um, so that's the feeling, like literally nothing. So I don't feel moisturized, but I don't feel uh, dry. Like it feels like I just woke up. The way it feels when you wake up with no lipstick on. That's the feeling of uh, paper thin. Whereas the Chanel and the Tom Ford are much more moisturizing in their in their feel and much more slick. Like they feel like a little bit of uh, the Chanel and Tom Ford, like I feel like a little bit of a combo uh, hydrating lip oil and lipstick. This feels like a kind of a, just a matte lip treatment. The color is rich and vibrant and beautiful. Guys, I am giving the Westman Atelier a good review. And I thought I was nervous because I am I am honest only. I am honest only. And I was just like, oh, I'm just going to come on and say I hate them. Um, so I was nervous to do the review because I knew I wanted to be on. I, I'm really pleasantly surprised. I was like, why did I buy three? You heard me. I was really nervous about it. So, wow, super exciting news. Check the bottom of the screen here again, of course, to see if they were drying, which is what I'm hearing from people. But I'm not feeling it. I mean, there's a lot of slip right now. When I move my lips together, and I'm a lip mover together -er. I love all of these. So if you have countless amounts of trust fund money with which to buy lipsticks, <laughs> you'll be set. <laughs> you know, I mean, we, we lipstick junkies, you know, we don't add up what we spend on lipstick because it's embarrassing. Um, they're beautiful. From case, and we looked at all the cases to shades to application, these are all winners. And I know that YSL has a little like new lip oil coming out and I've got a lip oil comparison video that I'm already working on. Don't forget to get your questions in for the 20K, anything that you want to ask me. We spent so much time together. You might as well know who I am, you know? Uh, so send those in as well on getting that video and the giveaway together. So don't forget to subscribe and like and share and all of that good stuff. Ask me any questions, uh, any shape comparisons that you need done over on Instagram. Let me know here or over on Instagram in, the, in a comment or in a DM, whatever works for you. And don't forget those questions. I look forward to seeing all of you in the next video.